Hey, good news, peeps. It's your girl Chrissy here at the Polk County Jail. We're going to be hearing from officials. Lots of media out here right now. We're going to be live streaming shortly. We're going to stay right here and we're just waiting now for the officials to come out. Looks like everything's gonna run on time, so I don't think we'll be waiting a long time like we did yesterday. In a little bit, I'm gonna plug in the microphones and I'm gonna need your help to see if you guys can hear, okay? Just give me about in the next five minutes or so. We just started, you guys, we haven't heard nothing yet. I just seen that uh I just seen some things I'm just so disappointed in people man it's just crazy Sí esta es una conferencia de prensa sobre la niña Audrey Cunningham que se perdió que estaba perdida desde el el jueves Yeah, me too, friends. Hugs, man, hugs, hugs to everybody. Hey. <laughs> All right. We're just waiting now for officials. Is the lieutenant running the conference or is somebody else here? So we're going to be hearing from Sheriff Byron. We're going to hear from the district attorney's office and Sheriff Byron from the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Byron's going to be talking along with the district attorney from Polk County. Can somebody put that on there for me so I can pin it? I need somebody to put that on there. Polk County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff. Byron. Justice, man. Whatever's going on here, we demand justice. Whatever we're about to hear right now, we want justice. We want justice, y'all.
Thank y'all. I'm sending y'all hugs, man. I wish I could hug everybody. And I'm going to ask that everybody takes it easy on me today in Messenger. Please, please take it easy on me. No more screenshots, none of that. Whatever's happening, we're about to get some news. The time's now 3.53. We're here at the Polk County Jail. He's in that facility over there. I thought it was just this. They've got McDougan, McDougal, whatever. They got him on that side. That's where they have him locked up, in that facility over there, that building. I was given a purple ribbon for Audrey. After this, we're going to go back to, to the Trinity River Bridge. About 15 minutes after this conference, I'm going to head back to the 59 Freeway right over the Trinity River, and I'll be live streaming after this. I'm not leaving from here. going to be monitoring the, the comments, okay, on this phone, so anybody laughing or anybody thinking this is a joke, I got you. <laughs> All right, four more minutes. minutes away.
We good? Everybody? Yes. Gracias. Somebody says, is it possible to sit here and cry for a child that we don't even know and yet feels like one of our own? Absolutely. Because she's an angel. She was innocent. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, one more minute. They should be coming out. They ain't gonna keep us waiting like yesterday, like the other day. Look, I'm about to put the microphone in and you probably won't be able to hear too much until they start talking. Just give me, a, okay, there they come, here they come. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, ma'am. And that's how I feel. I'm standing here waiting. This is Grizzy live here outside Polk County Jail facility. All right, here he comes. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here today. Uh, I want to first start by thanking the media for uh, for having us with the coverage over Audrey, over her missing. You have been your help has been immensely appreciated. It has been it has been great. I want to. Thank again everyone who has been engaged in the efforts to find Audrey, from the investigators to the volunteers who have, who have spent countless hours in hopes of finding her, and to the community members who have been been here supporting us since day one. I also want to have a, say thank you to Trinity River Authority for lowering the water levels so that the divers could reach the area, could reach areas of, of interest. At this time, 
I sadly announced that Audrey's body was located at the Trinity River on the U.S. Highway 59. As a result of today's developments, I will discontinue the Amber Alert for Audrey, and I, I want to thank DPS, Department of Public Safety, for all their help in this alert. The information that ha we have gathered in this criminal investigation is substantial. The Polk County Sheriff's Office investigators, the Livingston Police Department, and the Texas Rangers, uh, the Game Wardens, the FBI, Harris County Sheriff's Office, the uh, uh, San Jacinto County Sheriff's Office, the District Attorney's Office um, in uh, Trinity County and Liberty County. Uh, it's just an outpouring of love from all of our law enforcement partners. My heart aches with this news, and I express with my deepest sympathies and condolences to everyone who knew, who cared for, and loved Audrey. The Sheriff's Office, we will continue to process the evidence that has been gathered to ensure that the justice for Audrey. And at this time, I will turn the podium over to the Polk County District Attorney, Ms. Shelley Sinton. Thank you, Byron. <clears throat> My name is Shelley Sinton, and I am your Polk County District Attorney. I just want to take a few moments to explain how we're going to move forward from here. Based on all of the evidence that law enforcement has collected, they are in the process of preparing the appropriate arrest warrants for Don Stephen McDougall. At this time, we believe the appropriate arrest warrant is going to be for capital murder in the death of Audrey Cunningham. He is currently still in jail under an unrelated felony charge here. I understand that this is a very difficult time for Audrey's family and for our community. The substantial law enforcement resources that were marshaled by the Sheriff Lyons, I think should show you that this county and law enforcement, they will come out when they need to, to protect our children. And the assets that we have been made available to Polk County to protect our children have been substantial. And at this point, as Sheriff Lyons said, he'll continue to collect the evidence and process that the district attorney's office is going to stand right beside them and follow through. And we promise that you can assure that the district attorney's office will be just as dedicated to this case as every one of these law enforcement officers that are standing behind you to do what is right for Audrey and bring justice to our community. Thank you. At this time, if you've got some questions, we'll open it up to a few questions. To any indication of how Audrey was killed? I cannot speak to that. At this time right now, we have transported Audrey uh, down to the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office. At that time, we will await their results to be able to determine uh, the cause and method of her, her death. But evidence suggests murder. We believe that there is enough evidence, yes. Yes. Did, did, did Stephen, did Don Stephen McDougall lead you to that location on the river where you found her body? Did he tell you where to find her? That was evidence uh, that we was collecting through the cell phone, through the cell phone analysis as well as through our, as well as through our videos that we were able to collect and, and exactly, and, and some of the information that we received from him, we were able to pinpoint and, and said there were several points of interest um, that was turned over to us so that we were able to develop and thank goodness and thank by the grace of God one of those places of interest we were able to locate. As I, under Sheriff, as what I understand it. Links, what evidence links McDougall to the murder? Evidence and, and, and right now folks when it start, we start talking about how we are linking evidence to McDougall and linking evidence to um, this case, we want to be very careful on how we do that. Um, I, w I will feel safe this, to say this, is that there is substantial evidence through the evidence that we've gathered, and some of that evidence was even gathered by the, the wonderful witnesses and wonderful folks out there in the social media who sent us videos, who sent us uh, pictures. Some of that, even that evidence helped us to be able to come up with these locations, as well as the evidence from cell phones and where, as, as videos to uh, pinpoint these locations. Was you the condition of the 11-year-old's body and if she was dressed? 
at this point right now, until we get all our information back from the medical examiner's office, we, we don't want to release any information concerning Audrey and, and, and uh, condition of her body. Can you at least sure, tell us what you found in the water? portion of I-59 and the Trinity River? What directed you to that area of I-59 and the Trinity River? That, that area is one of the first areas of our concern, points of interest, when we started our search on Friday, well, midday Friday. And again, that's going to be developed from some of the evidence. And, and then, yes, there was some points uh, where he did give her information because there were several places that he said that he had went. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a location where he said he took her, but that was a, a incident where he said these were locations where he had gone. Without this evidence that you talk about, would you have been able to find her where you found her? Without the evidence that you just described? Yes. You would have found her there? We would have found her not through not through him, but we would have found it through the evidence that we collected from the analysis from phones and videos would have. Yes. Was she visible to the to the naked no. eye? You, were, you, you used a sonar. You used a sonar boat. Texas Equus Search was out with their sonar boat, scanning the, the bottom of the of the river for for her body. They are the ones that discovered the body. Is that correct? Um, now no. the image. I, they, I, I, I'm not going to say who exactly or what agency. Uh, discovered her, her, her body today. I will say this, that due to the lowering, we were able to contact TRA, Trinity River Authority. They slowed down the, the outflow from the, uh, the reservoir and it allowed the water to go down and, and her body was discovered uh, there in the water. Um, but I'm not going to say whether it was Harris County or Montgomery County or EquiSearch, it was a conglomeration of a lot of love and law enforcement networking together that Source, have discovered her. Sources have told us, though, that Stephen McDougall was the one that told you to lower the river, lower the level of the river. We've been told that he actually told you to lower the water on the river. Is that true? We talked to TRA on several occasions uh, about lowering it. When they got to the point, or they felt they were safe to lower the, start lowering the river, we, um, we were able to get them to do so. Whether or not Mr. McDougal gave us information on lowering the river or not to be able to locate her, that's information that we do not want to release at this time. Sheriff, one more question. Sheriff, one more question. Sheriff, is there, is there any evidence that the... That location, McDougal told you guys that that was one of the locations where he went to. Yep. He, he did advise that was one of the locations that he had gone. Not that he was saying that she was there or any other location, but we know that he went there as well. Until we get all of the evidence and all the autopsy reports, we're going to have to hold and work with law enforcement to determine what is the best solution to this case. Is if there the any evidence ev supports can, that, that is something that we're going to look into. Is there any evidence she was held somewhere else or was she killed pretty much the day that she disappeared? We, we do not have any evidence at this time that's showing that where she may have been held somewhere else. But again, we are still processing mounds and mounds of uh, information and, and, and data. Mr. Bob, last question. Is there any evidence that there was anything used to keep the body underwater? That is information at this time that we do not want to release. Do you have an approximate time frame for when her body Thank you all very much. Thank you all for your questions. Thank you all for all that you've oh done God. to us to help bring Audrey home. Man, hey, what's up with it, Hoodnies peeps? And it's your girl Grizzly standing outside the uh, Polk County Jail. Mm. This is very unsettling, you guys. I don't even like. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Let me get my. Okay, we're good. I just want to get my. I want to get my microphone. Hmm. How about that, you guys? Did you guys hear the one reporter ask about the, the the suspect asking them to lower the dam? I wonder where they got that information from. That's crazy. Mm -mm. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, friend. I'm the one that's here. Thank you. Thank you, friend. It's going to be okay. Yeah, perfect. I love you, okay? Love you, too. Oh, friends, I love y'all, man. I know some of y'all are crying. I see it. This is not the this is not the outcome we wanted, you know. It's just horrible. Horrible. 
Thank you, friend. My wife, she's been messaging you on Facebook. Aww. She said she want, we want to take you to dinner. Oh, okay. thank you, okay friend. Maybe another, yeah, Absolutely. under a different circumstance. Have a good this is my friend I work with. I want to give you something. Aww, thank you, thank you for. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Thank you for all of you. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all stay safe out here. It's just crazy people, man. I don't know what's going on. Thank you so much for Thank you. Thank you, babe. Thank you, Glenn. Keep in touch. Yeah, you too. We're going to be friends for life. You, you, I don't, friends for life, you know. Oh, man, you guys. Hmm? Hi. I'm Shandy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to to you. Let's... I came out here, I saw your video earlier, and you said, I just wish that I could hug everyone. And I came out here just to give you a hug. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to... <laughs> I want you to know that what you do matters. Thank you, friend. This is my son, Kyle. You helped bring him home. Oh, my God. I love you. Love you, too. Stay with your mama, okay? Yes, Stay with your mama. But you do matters. Thank you, friend. I love you. I remember Kyle. You, you, you're doing good, baby. Just stay off track. Yes, ma'am. Don't leave your mama, okay? Yes, ma'am. Promise me. Okay. I love you. Stay in touch with me. Message me your phone number so I can have it. Hey, what, what, what class are you? Uh, I'm varsity. In, uh, oh, what, what grade? Uh, sophomore. Sophomore, okay. All right. I want graduation pictures, baby. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God, friends. One of our peeps whose son we helped find a while back named Kyle. He's a big boy now. Not everybody's lucky like them. I just saw one of our, our missing kids that we helped find. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just a mess. Hey, friend. Love you. I love you. You did a good job. Thank you, friend. We appreciate everything. I love you, too. Love you, too. I love you. Oh, I love you. Yeah, it's been sad, friend. Are we? Yep. Lady just took a picture of me. I don't know what's going on. Hey, friend. Hey, how are you? I'm Jason. I'm true for the Houston Chronicle. Oh, hey, hey. Um, I was just getting pictures. Okay. And I wanted to get your name for the book if you don't mind. Oh, no. I always ask. Okay, Rizzy, but somebody took a picture of me right now? Uh, it was me. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I don't want to be. I'm, I'm, I'm a reporter for Hood News, Rizzy's Hood News. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got no, no. I'm just here for the family. I'm here for support of, of Audrey. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, friends. Yep. It's been confirmed. You know, we had a lot of people. For some people, it's like a race to, to be in a race for bad news and no regard for people that don't know the family members and stuff. But, man, just prayers for, for Audrey, y'all. This is not like... Man. And, you know, I'm going to say it one more time. Like, this is a story that repeats over and over hey friend we want to tell you thank you oh thank you hey there friend oh i love you i was like who's that lady she took a picture of me mm. <laughs> yeah i did oh thank you bye friend bye. we didn't say thank you oh my god y'all what do y'all think what do y'all man we want we want justice man we y'all know what we want we want it like y'all know man we Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. We want eye for an eye. Yes. Little baby didn't deserve that shit. She didn't deserve that. Little happy little girl. Man, friends, like I say, I'm not going to say nothing crazy. But we got to keep our kids real close, man. We got we to gotta be real vigilant. Cause we got predators everywhere. We got people that want to take our kids and do stuff. We don't need to ask a bunch of questions about what happened. We already know what happened. Mm -mm. And I
and all y'all at home too. I know there's a lot of people crying. Hi there, I'm a nurse. Hi. I just want um, you to know I've been watching you since day one. Thank you very much. My son's in California, he's a nurse. We've all uh, been watching. If it wasn't for you, we all work. Thank you. Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from, uh, I work in Corrigan, but I'm from uh, here. Thank you for so I want you to have this for gas. No, I don't care. No, please. Um, thank you for reporting. Thank you. I just got off work when I heard, and I just drove straight here. Mm. I just used the thing, but I wanted thank to you. you and say thank you for sharing all of thank that. Thank you. And be yeah. careful driving home. Oh, I will. I will. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not driving nowhere. I'm gonna be here uh, uh, now, friends. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go over there to the place, and we're just gonna do it, man. I know, it, man. Friends, there's no time for all that, man. All we could like, I see y'all saying stuff. Y'all are angry, and and uh, I know everybody's angry. Like this could have been avoided. Let's say, let's speak the truth, right? We're gonna we're gonna say the truth, right? There are things that we sometimes aren't in tune with, and 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 we could say, you know, like, but it's not the time no more. It's not the time. But we can use this. We can use these lessons. We can use these stories to sh to caution other people so it doesn't happen again. And the sad thing is that it does happen every day. This story was able to get more shine on it. But this happens a whole lot more than what people even want to think. Let's be honest. It's, no, it's not a time to be shaming nobody. L let it go, friends. I'm angry too. I want to say, man, friends, I want to say a bunch of shit. We want to say, a, man, I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. Just, I'm there with you. Yeah, you, you already know she's been found. She's been found, y'all. So now we're going to go over there to Trinity River, the, the bridge right there by 59. I'm going to film some more. And I'm going to take some time just to, like, you know, just chill because I don't want to be driving like this. Friends, I drove so fast to get up here. I didn't even catch the ride I was supposed to catch. I bought my own car. There's the Hood Newsmobile right there. But <clears throat> you guys at home, too, just take it don't 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 uh just just pray friends just pray we we had a little angel here for how god, god she's with god now she's not suffering and let us find comfort with that she's not suffering all right the hugs 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 to everybody and like I always say, heads on a swivel and, and keep your babies close, friends. Mm. Yeah, le le lots of lessons have been learned. And there's some people right now going through a whole lot. Just just friends, we just just pray, just pray and, 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 and caution others. We can we can caution others. So that this doesn't happen because these stories do repeat themselves. Oh, yeah, it's happening now as we speak. The level of, of how many kids are being, you know, uh, groomed, manipulated, abused, violated, and all those things. That's happening a lot, friends. It's happening right now, everywhere, in all kinds of parts of the world, all around the world. We, we've lost respect for our children. We're in those times where it's just like, Man, it's family members, friends, pastors, teachers, teachers, all kinds of people. Women, too. It's not just men. The predators are women. So let's use this as a cautionary tale in, in hopes that it prevents another child, another Audrey, another child just out there. Mm-mm. All right, friends, prayers going up and I'm going to go to the, the Trinity River and just be over there. Okay. I love you.